Hi everybody, it's Faith. I thought I'd do an up, uh, updated video. I am coming up on, I believe it's been two months um, since my surgery, since I had my MBD surgery for my hemifacial spasm. And I said about a month ago when I did my last video that I'd keep doing this on a monthly basis, um, keep everybody up to date on how things are going with my recovery. And things are going okay. I thought I'd do a video today. <laughs> I actually just ran and slapped some makeup on my face so I wouldn't look too scary. Um, so I could show everybody um, what a good day looks like. Because I noticed earlier that things are seeming pretty still today. Um, and that I'm, uh, I'm able to move most of my face. So I, I just thought I'd say hello and here it is. So <clears throat> again, it's been about two months. Um, the two month mark will be next Tuesday. It is currently Friday. Um, in the middle of June. So I had my surgery on April 24th, uh, 2018 at UPMC Pittsburgh. Um, UPMC, I think they call it Pittsburgh. What's the other? Nah, anyway, it's a hospital in Pittsburgh <laughs> with, with Dr. Sekula and uh, it went well. Um, the surgery was relatively quick in my opinion and my recovery was uh, very swift for me and uh, I'm up in, at my normal speed at this point in time. So um, my face though was was concerning me a little bit because I was noticing at least a couple weeks ago I thought I was developing um, a facial paralysis issue uh, where I noticed that the most was when I would <laughs> check my teeth for any food that's left in it. Like when I'm out with my husband and I run to the bathroom um, after we've had some appetizers at the bar and I just, you know, do the quick check with my teeth to see if there's any food in there. I was noticing that the left side of my face wasn't moving much, um, which was which was kind of the case before I had my surgery. It was a, a hemifacial spasm thing anyway. Um, I thought it was a leftover effect from Botox injections and to be quite honest, I wasn't sure what was happening this time around too. Um, but I discussed it with my nutritionist and told him how frustrating it was to, uh, I was going to see, I was going to check with Dr. Sakula and see if there was, if there were any like, you know, exercises that I could do for my face um, to help with that. If there was something that I needed to do in order, because what it felt like, um, like when I smile, like it felt like my cheek doesn't move as much as, you know, it, it's this, it's my cheek, I don't know, it's not my cheek bone, but it's my you know, this, this muscle right here wasn't tending to move up the way it, the other side does. Um, so it was a little confusing to me and I, I just wasn't sure what was going on there. But when I told my nutritionist that, he said, let, let me see a couple of things. He said, do this with your face. And so I did, I blew out air. And when I do that, you notice I get a twitch happening. Let's see if I can do it again. Anyway. I'm trying to push air into it and it's um, it's not working great. But as you can tell, it seems like my face is moving a lot better than it had been. Um, in my last video, you can compare. So um, at least I'm pleased with the smile that I'm getting at this point in time. And that's, that's kind of key. Um, I am having bad spasm days. There were a couple this week where it was, um, it felt like it was even worse than it was before surgery. But I have more good days than bad, and like I said, today's been a relatively still day, which is really pleasant to have. So these are the ones that I aim for. This is what I'm hoping the rest of my um, my journey will lead to, is more of a calm face like this. If I get to the point where I have spasms maybe 10 to 20% of the time, um, even after the two-year mark uh, of past surgery, I'll be a happy girl. I'll be very happy. Um, at this stage, I'd say we're probably... It's so weird because I have really still days like today um, and then I have really bad days like I did earlier this week. So I was saying that I was probably, you know, my, my spasms had reduced to about a 60% level in um, my last video a month ago. And I would almost say it's like maybe at 50% now, I, my guess would be, I haven't been keeping track of how many days I have spasms versus how many calm days I have. Uh, maybe I'll start doing that. I'll keep keep a little note on my calendar starting this month, um, and then next month when I do a video, I'll have a better idea. 
uh, of where we're at with, with the spasms. Um, if you're noticing that there's a color change in my videos, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my computer. I probably need to talk to my computer guy. Or maybe someone can offer me a suggestion in the comments uh, that's been happening with my with my last couple videos. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe it's not as noticeable, uh, but anyway. So um, so that's where I'm at right now. I'm still feeling pretty good, uh, just dealing with uh, with this, those heavy spasm days, um, but focusing on these nice calm days and and keeping my mind on hopeful hopefulness that these will continue more and more. Um, again, usually. The, the spasms get pretty bad when I'm talking to people. Right now, it's it's tending to stay calm, which is awesome. It's the key during these videos, <laughs> so everybody can see what's going on. Um, I'm going to look and see, comparing this video to the last video, um, with the movement on the left side of my face, and possibly still reach out to Dr. Sakula to talk to him about whether or not there was any paralysis involved, make sure that he has access to the videos um, so that he can give me his opinion as well. But anyway, uh, let me know if you have any questions. Um, I've, I've had a couple of emails going with some people from the last video, and I'm very happy to provide any help that I can. Um, I, I do my best. Uh, again, sometimes I get back to people quickly, and sometimes uh, it takes about a week or so. It just depends on what I have going on in my day to day. But if you hang in there, you know I do my do my best to get back to you all whenever you ask me a question, uh, whether it's about what happened with the surgery specific to the Pittsburgh area, um, dealing with uh, with Dr. Sakula, dealing with his staff um, and the hospital there, or whether it's something having to do with the hemifacial spasm um, or my recovery, how recovery went for me. Um, I'm happy to do what I can, okay? So as always, keep on doing what you do and get out there and let people know what this is, tell people what you have uh, I think that the more information that people have, the better, um, and I know how, uh, how limiting this can be for people to have this kind of condition. Uh, I've lived it for many years, so believe me, I am on your side, and I just want to encourage everybody to keep on smiling, uh, even if only half your face is doing it, and, um, and spreading the good word. All right? Take it easy, y'all. Bye.